Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 32. Write your name first. Don't forget it. And we're matching the math stories to the number sentences that tell the story. And make a math drawing to solve. So we can see this whole page. There are... Let me shrink the whole thing down here the whole page we have three stories we have a story a, a story B and a story C and then we have number sentence number sentence number sentence now the a won't necessarily this won't necessarily be a and this won't ha this doesn't have to be B and this doesn't have to be C but we'll figure out which story goes which which one of these number sentences. We also have to make a math drawing, and we'll do that in the boxes for the A, B, and C. We're going to do that first, and then we're going to match. We're going to find out which boxes match after we finish right, uh, finish drawing, making our math drawings. So let me zoom back in for A. There are ten flowers in a vase. Six are red and the rest are yellow. How many flowers are yellow? All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a total of ten and six are red. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you know your parts of ten, you know how many are going to be left without counting. You know there's going to be four left. So these are red and these are yellow. And so what we need is we need a total of 10 and we need a 7 and, a, and we know we need a 6 and a 4 with a total of 10. It's not going to be this one because it's got a 9. We need a 6 and a 4 and a 10. This has a 3 in it so it can't be that one. So it's going to be this last one down here at the bottom. Right, we need we have the six that's in there already, so we needed the four yellow ones. That's the red ones. These are the yellow ones, right? The four red, six red and four yellow. And then if you subtract, right, if you take the ten total flowers and you subtract the red ones, you should have all the yellow ones left. Four. So that's. Let me zoom back out, and we know that this math story is going to match that set of number sentences like that. Let me do the next number story. Let's zoom in on that one. B. There are nine apples in a basket. Six are red. The rest are green. So we need nine apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and I can, red and green are pretty easy for me to draw here. So we have six are red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you can just circle them so you know that these are red and the rest are green. You can just draw that. You don't have to go get crayons and color everything in like this. But if you want to have fun, go ahead. It'll just, it will take some more time to do it that way. Um, so how many apples are green? You can see there are three. So we have nine total. And we know six are red. So we need something with a nine in it. It's not going to be this last one because that's six and four and ten. We figured that one already. This is a ten and a three. And whatever this number is, it's going to have to be less than 10. Because we got to add something to 3 to make 10. You might remember from our last homework, we had a couple of 3s and 7s together. If you know your parts to 10, you know that's going to be a 7. I'll just put that in there since I'm talking about it now. So we don't have a 9 or a 6 there. So it's going to have to be, and here's a 9 in the one on top. So the total is 9, and we got that by looking at the red ones and the green ones together, six red and three green made nine apples. And if I start with the nine apples and I subtract the six 
red that I knew about. If I took away those six red ones, then I would have three green ones left. That's subtraction. Starting with nine, take away six, three left. So that's the one that matches this. And then we have our last story. And we know which box that's going to go with. It's going to go with this one here because it's the only one left on the page. Kate has her fingernails painted. Three have designs and the rest are plain. This is one of those tricky ones where they don't tell you. I mean, you can see the number three here, but there's no other numbers in this. And sometimes they spell them out in a word. But in this one, you just have to think of like Kate has fingernails. How many fingernails do you have? You could count them. You've got five on each hand, probably. Unless you're like me, you have two on one thumb. I actually have 11 fingernails. Most people just have 10, though. So Kate has her fingernails painted, right? So we can say, we know there's 10. We'll just draw. We could draw hands, right? One, two, three, four, five there. And here's your other hand. One, two, three, four fingers with a thumb. Uh, three have designs. We can use three here. And the rest are plain. So there's three. Remember from parts of ten, if there's three here, then there has to be seven of the rest. Three with designs. The rest are P for plain. And we know it's going to match up with the middle box here. Oops, move my, didn't mean to move my whole box like that. So we have, we knew it was three and seven, making ten. Ten, we took away the three that had designs, and we knew about those. Subtracting. So if one part is three, the other part has to be seven. And we can move on to the next page. It says, use the number bond to tell an addition and subtraction math story with pictures. Write an addition and number. Write an addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction number sentence. So we have a total of seven. The two parts of seven are four. Now if one part is four, one, two, three, four. The other part has to be five, six, seven. If one part is four, the other part has to be three to have a total of seven. So here are here's our two parts. If we add the two parts together, right, we have a three here and a four there. We put we add the two parts together, addition, adding is plus. Three plus four is seven. And we can also do the uh, start with seven and if we take the four is the one we knew about in the beginning. So I'm going to say that we if we if one part we know is four, the other part has to be three. And that's so if I had seven and I took away these four that we knew about here, we'd have three left. So those are the parts of seven. And now we have another one. We've got eight and five. So if we have five down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we have, if this part is five, the other part has to be three, because otherwise it would be more than eight if we had more than three, or if it was less than three, we'd have less than eight for a total. So it has to be that much. So if we take our two parts, our three and our five, and we add them together. There's the three, there's the five. If we add them together and count them all, we're gonna have eight. That's gonna be our total. And if we start with all eight, all eight and we take away five the other part has to be three so that's taking eight apart and this is taking the two the first one is taking the two parts and putting them together to make the eight and then with subtraction we take numbers apart and that's taking the eight apart that's our total we take it apart into the five and the three